going on YouTube welcome back to the channel Hall here uh, I had my Rivian introductory call today so um, I took a ton of notes while I was on the phone with this person um, this was my pretty much my guide my person that I'm always gonna go to if I have any questions issues with my Rivian obviously as long as that person still works at Rivian so um, I want to talk through how I got to this point and then also about the call specifically. So we're going to get into not only the details prior leading up to this, pre-orders, things like that, but then what this actually, this introductory call or call included and uh, the questions I ask and things that most people may not know or that may not be out on the internet yet about the Rivian process, trucks in general. So we'll get into that right after the bumper. All right, so we are getting rid of the Jeep Gladiator. A um, little sad, honestly, not gonna lie. Um, love that truck, built it exactly the way I wanted to. Um, obviously, if you didn't check out my review uh, a couple of years ago, it did very well on, on my channel. So um, getting rid of the Rivian, or getting rid of the Gladiator, uh, you know, and then putting that money towards my Rivian. And like I said, I had my introductory call today. So leading up to here, I pre-ordered my Rivian in fall of 2020. So now, you know, it's almost two years later that um, I'm gonna actually be getting my Rivian delivery. So we'll get into how long when your intro introductory call to when you actually get your delivery. I'll make sure I cover that, but let's cover everything else. So uh, leading up to this, they send you, um, I did get an email from Rivian that was based around uh, color choices and batches and interior uh, color choices and based on whatever your configuration was online, like I actually had the white interior um, chosen and that would have pushed my pre-order out until um, the fall. So with that being said, I did not want to wait that long and most of that's just down to supply chain issues. They're having trouble getting the actual woodwork that like wraps around for the interior for the white. So switch that to black. Um, and then you know, I had a bunch of questions about other things, but that email came actually prior to me getting the email about my introductory call. My um, last fall, I did get an email from Rivian that said, your delivery date's supposed to be in uh, April, May timeframe um, for your truck. So actually it was May, June. May, June was my delivery time that they sent me uh, in this past fall. So introductory call, so they, they actually send you an email and they let you know who your rep is, who you're gonna be dealing with, and then you go on a link and you schedule a time uh, period. So I believe I got this email last uh, a Thursday, the Thursday of last week. Um, obviously the time frame of this won't matter, but then I scheduled it on a Tuesday. So Thursday I got the email, then I was able to schedule my call uh, on a Tuesday. So these are the questions that we went down through. So I'm gonna walk through some of this. So uh, topics, you know, they wanna finalize your, your configuration for your truck. They wanna make sure color, accessories, interiors, all that stuff, you know, is to your liking, uh, rims, wheel, all that kind of stuff. Um, they wanna they want to lock that down because that's really what dictates how far out your pre-order is from delivery versus, you know, what they're actually making and what's available for, if this, if we wouldn't have such, such supply chain issues, this probably wouldn't be a problem, but so they're going to finalize your configuration that includes interior, exterior colors. Obviously I changed mine to black interior. So I'm, I moved my pre-order up. Um, there was no concern. So I asked specifically about external colors because they mentioned in the email they sent that they were doing batches of external colors. They said that's not really the case. They're they're you know they're flying off the line in all different colors. Uh, so the external colors, he said, there's not really a lot of issue. It's only the internal. Um, if you're choosing the white interior, that was the main problem. There's a couple accessory problems as well for supply chain issues. Um, 
if you're looking at the black wheels, so I was kind of, so I'm doing a white exterior, doing a black uh, interior, and I'm doing like a, a aluminum polished wheel. So, um, cause I was looking at the black wheels. If you're looking at the black wheels, uh, just a little heads up, they are more glossy. So if you get the black wheels with like the, the, the say black, the black exterior color, they're both a high gloss. So they, they match up pretty nicely. I ended up not going with the, the black rims. Um, I went with the uh, kind of the polished aluminum, but um, a couple of the ads on the add-on so the gear tunnel that is right behind between like the bed and the cab there's a uh, there's a gear kind of shuttle thing uh, like a shuttle chute that you can pull out that is not available right now because of uh, supply chain issues so what they did is they took it off my pre-order configuration and what he told me before it goes up to public like on their website is available. They're gonna call everybody who had it on their configuration first. You, They will get first dibs at the at the supplies that are available. And then you can order it then, and then they will actually drive to your house um, and install that uh, gear tunnel for you, that shuttle uh, right in your truck for you for free. Um, and then they'll, you know, they'll take care of all that, which is kind of cool. So we will get, if you had it on your pre-order configuration, you will get first dibs when the supplies come back in and they kind of work down through the list. Um, got that. The kitchen and the tent are also, uh, they have issues with the, the supply of those. So if you're looking at the kitchen instead of the actual gear shuttle, or you're looking at the tent uh, that they have available for the actual pre-orders, both of those, the kitchen, the shuttle system, and the tent are all having supply issues. You can order them later uh, when they become available. Uh, the crossbar and the all-weather floor mats, they're gonna be shipped directly to my house, so they're not gonna be with my actual pre-order. Um, I ordered the all-weather mats for inside, obviously, and then the uh, cross, a set of the crossbars, which can go over the bed or go over the truck. Uh, they're actually gonna be shipped directly to my house and not come with the truck, but uh, both, obviously, easy installs. He said the crossbars, it's kind of like a lever, and they, they, they like tuck into to slots either in the bed or on the top of the cab, and then you kind of pull that lever down, and then they do have a locking mechanism that you can actually lock the actual crossbars to to the vehicle so obviously no one can steal them so i did not know that prior to that um the wall charger will come before the truck so if you actually ordered a wall charger and because obviously the truck comes with a like a a regular plug that you can use for 240 or 110 but if you actually order the wall charger that you plug in like one that you would see along the highway uh, that'll come before your delivery of your truck so it gives you time to wire it in if you have to get an electrician lined up or you're going to do it yourself you can kind of sort that out i've already had a box installed in my garage um, i'm just waiting for the wall charger to show up so they can they can hook that in so um just a little heads up there uh, the wall charger also connects to Wi-Fi and that will send updates to your phone on the app. So as your truck is charging, actually it's the charger itself that is connected to your Wi-Fi that will, that will link to your phone. Um, the wall charger learns the charging habits over time and it sends that to your phone and then it'll adapt based on, you know, how much you travel normally during the day. Like if your work commute is pretty consistent, and you're not doing a lot of traveling, uh, you know, after or before work that would take more uh, take more battery, that'll learn over time, much like a lot of the technology does these days. Uh, the vehicle has a portable charger with it, like I talked about. It will do 240 outlets that will give you about 16 miles per hour, and then it'll also do 110, which will give you about three to five miles per hour. So that's so if you if you have a 240 plug or 240 ability in your house that you can plug that in, that'll give you 16 miles per hour charged. Um, and then the wall charger obviously gives you quite a bit more than that. I don't actually know the specs on that. I'll have to look that up. Uh, the launch addiction uh, does come with tow hooks automatically and the powered tonneau cover. They come standard on the launch edition, which is what I have. Uh, it does. Sorry, that's my dog. Um, all the models come with a tire patch kit as well. Um, just a heads up there. I did get the full size spare as an accessory as well. That'll be in, that's actually tucked in under the bed. Uh, there's like a like a pull-up flap that it sits on the bed so it doesn't take up any any space uh, i did ask about the bed composition uh, because i have a i have rhino lined bed in my gladiator i got that actually post picking up my gladiator because i couldn't get one that i already had it pre-installed or you know it was already done so he said the bed composition is like a structural composite and it's it's very wear and corrosion resistant um so i said like 
I have a rhino line. Is it like rhino line, like a rubbery something that's like not as aggressive? He said, that's pretty close. He said, it's not plastic. He said, but it's not like aggressive and as hard as rhino line. So I'm not sure what that looks like, but they said they, he claimed it as structural composite bed that is wear and corrosion resistant. So I don't know. We'll have to figure that out when we get there and I'll do a full video on the, on the bed. Uh, air compressor comes with it. The hose comes with it and the port for the air compressor is right inside the bed on the left hand side. Um, the front, it has a plastic insert, but it's, they said it's a tough plastic. And then obviously they have like hooks that you can hook your gear up to. And there's six USB C ports inside the truck. Um, there's front center console, two in the front center console, two in the rear center console, and one in each headrest on the back. So people in the back can either use the center console that flips down. If you have three people in the back, they can actually plug into the back of the headrest as well to charge uh, whatever device is using a, a USB-C port. So uh, heads up there, tech setup. Uh, you set up the truck to Wi-Fi um, and that'll, so in your house when it's sitting in your garage or wherever you have it, um, it'll need to also have to have the ability to connect to your Wi-Fi and then uh, this is really interesting. So the truck does have a hotspot that you can actually, when you're out, you know, roaming the world, um, that hotspot will be free for the first, he said, around year because they haven't completely defined the subscription process for the Rivion. So with the subscription process, it's going to probably become, you know, updates, hotspot. There's going to be other things that are going to be available with this subscription, whatever package. Um, but the hotspot for the truck inside the truck will be free for anybody who has it, you know, now until about 12 months is, is what they said. Okay, so the next thing they talked about was purchasing. So purchasing is like an eight step process. Um, and I wanna kind of walk through this. So purchasing will be open, uh, it, it will open up on a link and it'll go right to like your online account and they'll also send you an email with that, with that actual hyperlink. Um, that won't be available until they find the truck that is either very close to coming off the line or a truck that already exists that they're linking to your configuration. So if they find a truck that has all your configuration um, that's already made, you can technically uh, be claim, claim that one. If somebody else that may have the exact same configuration hasn't gone through all the eight steps of the purchasing process, you can actually like jump in front of them. So um, once you, you know, once they identify that, like getting through the purchasing process, you wanna make sure you get through that pretty quickly uh, because it seems like there's a little bit of a cat and mouse game there. Uh, preliminary buyer's agreement that is sent. So right after this conversation, this uh, introductory call, they send you a preliminary buyer's agreement. And it's really just a bunch of T's and C's about like, you know, the price and what the actual truck is and what configuration it comes from and, you know, force majeure, a bunch of contract language, but it's not binding the preliminary buyer's agreement. It was just to let them know, like you read through it, you understand the introductory call, you understand the configuration that you decided on and you're agreeing to you know some stake that you actually were in that conversation so like i said there's eight different steps to the purchasing process um he said you can absolutely go at your own pace it feels like you can get through it quickly but he said he made sure and he actually said this multiple times like if you want to take your time through each step because you know you're either getting financing or whatever that looks like you're just not sure you can absolutely take your time so even though i just said you can rush through it to possibly you know jump the line or whatever that looks like for deliveries um, you can also completely take your time. Uh, financing uh, steps. If you are going to finance any portion of this and you're going to find it, finance it through Rivion, uh, Chase Bank is actually their under or their loan supplier. Um, Chase Bank's pretty decent. You know, they have decent rates. They usually don't have the lowest rates, um, but I've done actually multiple auto loans uh, through that and they've all been great. They have great online service as well, so it's really easy. Um, so if you're going to put money down, they will take an ACH and they use plaid uh, for that service, which is pretty popular. Um, they'll do a wire transfer or they'll do a cashier's check. So they'll do those, those three options. You can't do credit card or anything like that, which is pretty standard. Um, the Rivion will take care of the title and registration. When you get your vehicle first, it'll have a temporary title uh, that is still uh, tied to Illinois. And then obviously that'll transfer over to whatever state you're in and you're receiving the, uh, the, uh, the truck in. So I'll have temporary Illinois tags. Like I just said, it'll ship from Illinois to the closer distribution center. I did ask him, uh, I'm in Southern Pennsylvania, so I'm pretty close to DC, Philly, Baltimore. 
um, pretty a, a little bit farther from New York. But um, out of those three, he said the Philly one's not open yet. Um, or Philly's almost open. I think it's supposed to be open like next week, but they may not be ready for that. Uh, DC is open, but it's going to be turning into like more of a service center long term. But they are doing uh, actual deliveries from that, and the uh, and the Baltimore office isn't open yet. Um, so he said out of those lists, it's probably going to come from DC uh, for my specific vehicle. Uh, insurance step. Um, so Rivian does have insurance. I want to make sure I get this right. Um, and obviously you have to show a proof of insurance if you don't use the Rivian supplied or go through them through insurance, you have to you have to show proof of insurance before they'll actually give the delivery. They'll give you a mock VIN. So right after this call as well, um, if you're interested in their insurance, even if you're not, they'll give you the mock VIN, but they'll also give you a link to their, uh, their insurance um, provider, which their underwriter is nationwide. So if you have nationwide, just realize that you could probably work through Rivian and then bundle everything if you have anything. I have State Farm, um, so I'm actually comparing rates right now, going back and forth. But the cool thing about nationwide, they've linked up with Rivian and just like Tesla, they'll keep your data on the way you drive. So not like, it's a little big brothery, but not totally big brothery. So they'll track that data, make sure, you know, you're not driving like a complete a-hole. Um, and if you're not, you know, as they track that data over time, that could potentially drop some of your premium uh, payments and costs if uh, your driving record's pretty good. If that totally freaks you out, I'm sure you can turn it off and then you're just gonna play it. You're gonna pay the, the whatever normal premium. Um, so from my Gladiator to this truck, mine went up, my first quote that I got went up $200 every six months, uh, which is a little salty, but with being a brand new truck, and the price and it being electric and all that kind of stuff i'm kind of not surprised but so just to give you a little window into what that looks like it was 200 so 400 dollars a year is what it went up um it'll so once you obviously have the proof of insurance uh they'll bind your insurance on the delivery date so you can just let them know when your delivery date is going to be and then they can bind your insurance to that date uh uh reduce the insurance cost for time like i talked about on a recognition right yeah and then, so um yeah, anyway, so the, once you get the link for the insurance, you can go through them and you actually, it's the same way you set up your introductory call, you just set a date like a, it's almost, it's almost like a like a meeting, a meeting date. You set up a meeting for them to talk through it if you wanna get some pricing from actually uh, Nationwide themselves. Um, so before I get to the delivery time, cause I know it's what everybody really wants, I'm trying to hang on, so just hang on with me. Um, I did, I asked this person really interesting. So one thing that was really cool is my rep's my rep as you know, as long as that, as long as he works there. Um, but I did ask him like, how do I contact you or whatever? He said, Hey, when I send you an email right after this about the insurance and things like that, and the, and the preliminary buyer's agreement, he said, all of my contact information is on the bottom. A couple things with that. So obviously they have a direct number, they have email. He said his hours are normally uh, eight 30 to five central standard time. So I'm on East coast, not a big deal there. Um, he says usually available. He said, if, um, if you do call, um, and I don't pick up, he said, make sure you leave a voicemail. Cause like the, if their system doesn't show that they had a missed call, but the voicemail, they'll be able to read the text and then they'll get back to you faster. So if you do call your rep and you don't get certainly leave a voicemail, cause the way their system works, uh, the voicemail, they can, they can do like a read a text option and then they'll get back to you faster. And he said, emails, uh, it's, it's 24 hour turnaround at the most. He said, normally I'm way faster than that. And I'll make sure to get back to you. But obviously as more people get involved in this and, and he has to cover more customers, I'm not sure what it's gonna look like right now. He said it's way under 24 hours, but he said, honestly, leaving a voicemail is probably the fastest way if you have to get a hold of me. Uh, I did ask him what's the best thing about working at Rivian, because that interests me, um, why people work places and things like that. And um, he said, great culture. He said the people are genuinely happy. He said, like, it's not just everybody, like, you know, kind of acting like it because of it. Um, he said everyone's very excited, especially now that trucks are rolling off the line and they're getting out to customers and they're starting to go through the customer service process. He said it's very exciting and everyone's super pumped. And then he said everyone supports the mission. So, which I think was really interesting because in my Rivian, when everybody was kind of up in arms about the price increase and they backed it off, you know, in that letter, it was directly from the CEO. 
uh, even though you know that may be by the publicist but it, you know it seemed like his words and he talked about the mission the culture and being customer focused and things like that you could feel that through the call the person kept asking me is there any other questions or anything i need to clear up do you have any you know anything outside uh, of the things we spoke about like you know the customer service was very at the front end it was it was comforting it was really easy to talk to he was very knowledgeable helped me through everything um you know and i had a pretty decent amount of questions here and he didn't seem annoyed or anything so I was very excited about that. So shipping is the last thing I got to uh, with my rep. And they told me uh, based on my my black interior, uh, I had like the bright aluminum wheels. He said the wheels are no problem. He said the tires are no problem. And really the external colors are no problem. Right now, it's a couple of the accessories which they can send to you later or you can buy later because you don't buy them up front. They'll just offer them to you later if you want them. Um, it's really the white interiors that is the biggest problem. So if you have white interior on your configuration, that's going to be a problem. You're going to have to wait till the fall because of the supply chain issues. Maybe. Who knows if they get that figured out. Um, so if you change that, it said exterior colors aren't an issue. They said uh, delivery within four weeks. So from my inter interactive call, he said, there's no reason you shouldn't have your vehicle within four weeks. He said, most likely sooner than that. He said, if there's one that already exists that has your configuration being the white, black interior, uh, bright aluminum off-road wheels and tires, he said, then I can tag that one for you. As soon as I tag a vehicle, a vehicle, your purchasing process of your eight steps will start. So within four weeks, um, once again, you can skip, you can kind of skip ahead of the line if they find and can tag a configuration that already exists. And then obviously they'll get it to you and give you a delivery date. And I asked them how far out are pre-orders? Like, you know, I, I pre-ordered uh, fall of 2020, he said, everybody that's getting called around you right now had that fall 2020 kind of launch edition. He said, the people that are longer out are the people that are sticking with the white interior. So if the white interior is the thing that you want to go with, certainly stick with it, stay with it, have, get exactly what you want. It's exactly what the email said from Rivion. But if you don't and you're more about delivery times, they even tell you in the email, if you would rather get, get it faster than hold out for specific things, then certainly look at your adjustments on your configuration and your rep will walk you and talk you through that. So um, I did change my configuration right before this call, but uh, my understanding was he was gonna call me anyway and go over the configuration to make sure that I got everything. So even if I did keep white, my call was still gonna come through um, and we were gonna talk about it and he was gonna say, you know, if I still had white, he's gonna say, okay, well, if you still want white, you're gonna have to wait for the fall. So what I'm saying is fall 2020 pre-orders should be getting calls around this time. So if you're in that time frame or you're early 2021, you know, your call should be coming right around the corner, which is cool because then once you get your call, you're only f potentially four weeks away um, from, from getting your truck. So it's super exciting. So that's everything I wanted to cover. Um, we are getting rid of the Gladiator. Great truck, absolutely loved it. Uh, made it to exactly the way I wanted it with all the options and everything I wanted to do and the accessories, but uh, we're moving on to electric. We're gonna be doing lots of uh, Rivion videos. So I have a whole playlist on my channel. So if you're into Rivion or you're gonna wanna know more about it or what's it like living with an electric truck, um, cause we're gonna be doing some traveling with it, some towing with it, all that fun stuff. Um, and I'll do a full breakdown of literally every piece of it because I am so pumped to get inside this thing. So really can't wait. Uh, hopefully you'll, you'll hang around. If you have any questions about that uh, initial process or the pre-order process or any other things you may want to know about the Rivian at this point in time or in the future on any of my other videos, I do tons of travel and product reviews. So certainly check them out. Uh, that's it, I think, for now. Once again, any questions, leave them down below and I will be sure to answer them. I answer every single question. We will catch you on the next one.